Carnot cycle A, B, and C are connected in series so that the heat rejected from A will be the heat added to B, and heat rejected from B will be added to C. That's a mouthful. Each cycle operates between 30 and 400 C. If heat added to A is 1000 kilowatts, find the work output of C. Okay, so first we should visualize our problem. We have system A, system B, and system C. So the heat added to QA is given to us. It's a thousand kilowatts. Now whatever goes out here be put into B. Let's call this QAB. And whatever goes out there becomes QBC. And we're trying to look for the work output of C in kilowatts. We're also given a higher temperature of 400C, which is 673 Kelvin, and a lower temperature of 30 degrees C, which is 303 Kelvin. So the first thing that comes to mind here is the Carnot efficiency, which is the same for every system because they're all using the same um, temperature difference. And the Carnot cycle efficiency is given by the hotter temperature minus the colder temperature over the hotter temperature. So let's call this E, and let's put our values in. This is equal to 0.5498, correct? So now we know that E sub A is equal to the network over the heat added. And the network is simply just QA minus the heat rejected QR. We know what E sub A is. We know QA. And we also know that QR is actually QAB. So we can simply put this in our calculator. 0.5498 is equal to 1000 minus 1000. That gives us a QAB. Sorry, this is QAB of 450.2 kilowatts. Now we can simply repeat the process over at EB. This is simply heat added QAB minus heat rejected QBC over QAB. Know this. We know this, these as well, so we can simply put that in our calculator. QAB is for 50.2 minus QBC over 450.2. Shift solve and we get QBC of 202.68 kilowatts. So finally, we can find the work output of C using this equation. 
which is simply the output over the input. We know this, we know this, so we can find work output. Let's see, 0.5498 times 202.68. And we get a final answer of 111.4 kilowatts. If this helped you, consider supporting me on Patreon and liking and subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one.